Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Randy. I'm Randy. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. Before I start, I did want to ask you guys to please make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I drop a new video. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers and I would really truly absolutely appreciate it if you guys would uh, subscribe to my channel. I do drop a new video, at least one video every week. And I just want to take you guys along on the journey on my channel. You can learn about uh, what I'm up to and I share also a lot of unboxing videos. I share a lot of wig videos and I also talk about my journey as an alopecia warrior. <laughs> I like to call myself an alopecia warrior, an alopecia queen. Uh, just because there's just so much negativity going around alopecia and I just wanted to give it a new face. You know, like it, it's not all that, like it, it doesn't need to be all sad and all that. So <laughs> that's what my channel is about. So if that's something that you would enjoy, you know somebody who would enjoy that, share it with them. But please, please, please make sure to subscribe. This video is going to be a little heart to heart slash TMI slash informational, but this is also a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor type of video. Uh, this is going to be 10 truths that I found out about pregnancy, specifically the first trimester that I had no clue of. Some of these things I knew about, some I have some idea of, and there are certain things that, who child, I never heard of and I did not expect. Of course, I want to preface this by saying that obviously every pregnancy, every woman is completely different when it comes to bearing a child, but I just wanted to share with you guys things that I found out, things that I learned, things that I experienced that I completely was not expecting. This is not to scare anyone, it's just I find some of these things actually funny. Um, but some others are very true and I just didn't want anyone to be as surprised as I was, especially with certain things. And I just wanted to share with you guys, this is called Life of Randy. I want you guys to know what my life is like, especially throughout this pregnancy. I never, never, never in a million years expected my first pregnancy to go this way. So it has been a roller coaster, but I'm very thankful and blessed that my baby is doing well and that I'm doing well and I'm healthy. Um, I did have some issues towards the beginning and this is why I wanted to make this video. Um, this is going to be the first of many of opening up about my first trimester, uh, but I did want to start on a lighter note. So this is 10 truths that I did not know about pregnancy and the first trimester. Number six on my list is exhaustion. Oh my God, I did not know. I would like, both Alex and I started getting quite worried because in the first couple of months, I was sleeping so much and I was working like eight, 10 hour days. So I was tired from waking up early, but I was also tired from the pregnancy. And that was just because my body was working overtime, making more blood, growing my boobs, like loosening my joints, like all of these things were happening because the baby was forming inside of me. And I did not realize how tired I could get. And I remember till this day, and I tell this story to a lot of people, whoever wants to hear. Um, but I remember this one Sunday, I was off from work and I was home and I woke up around maybe 6 a.m. and I would wake up like to go to the bathroom and then I stayed up till about 8 a.m. and I went back to sleep, woke up at 10, I stayed up about 12, went back to sleep, woke up at 2 p.m., I stayed up until about 4 
and I was about to go back to sleep and Alex was like, babe, if you go back to sleep, you're not going to like, you're not going to sleep at night. And I was like, but I'm so tired. And every time that I was waking up, he was like, you need to eat something. You haven't done anything. You've literally just been sleeping all day. And I'm like, but I'm so sleepy. I don't know what's happening. And he was like, is this normal? Like, <laughs> what is happening? And I was so weak. And I went back to sleep at 4 p.m. And I woke up at like 6 or 7 p.m. And he's like, you're not going to go back to sleep. And by midnight, I was in bed. I could not believe how much I slept that day and I think it was because I was off from work that I was able and like willing to sleep that many like that many hours but till this day like I've never been able to do that like ever so that was the craziest thing just like the tiredness of it all I did not know that came with pregnancy at least not in the first trimester number seven is something actually really fun that I found out um, you can have caffeine. I remember when I found out that I was pregnant, I had some thoughts go through my head and I was like, oh my God, like I'm an early riser. Like Alex and I, our thing is you wake up and you make each other coffee. And so I like coffee. I don't like, I don't excessively drink coffee, but like one cup in the morning is usually what I do. Or like, I'll do like, a. I'll make myself a latte or I'll make myself like a, like just like a, a nice coffee drink in the morning. And so when I found that I was pregnant, I was like, okay, well, you know, no alcohol, no raw meats, no coffee. And then I met with my OBGYN and, you, and she was like, yeah, you can have a cup. And I was like, really? But I was really scared in the beginning. So I still wasn't drinking it. But now, girl, I have my cup of coffee every morning. And it's so funny because I think that this is still a misconception that a lot of people have. So when they see me drink coffee, they're like, oh my God, what are you doing? This is so dangerous. And I'm like, first of all, I know you're not an OBGYN, so you have nothing to tell me. Um, if she says it's okay, then I'm going to drink my coffee because she has told me there's certain things that I can't have that I'm like, but wait a minute, how, why, how come? And my OBGYN said no sodas, not even ginger ale, no bacon, cooked or otherwise. So if she says that I can have coffee, I'm gonna believe her and I'm gonna drink my coffee. So thank you to all my non-certified OBGYNs. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, number eight, is quite sad because if you know me, then you know I love taking care of my skin. I love my skin routine. I've always, always, always taken pride in how smooth my skin is. Um, even with stretch marks and cellulite, like I love, 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 love my skin. So to have hormones come up in here and just back me me, I felt so betrayed. Number eight is back me. Why? Like why? My, my skin was so smooth. I didn't really mind the acne because obviously like I don't really wear makeup. I don't really mind and I was already getting some because of the mask and the humidity and things like that. Um, I have talked about it. I think maybe it was on Instagram. I don't think I did. I did a video on it on YouTube, but um, I had gotten this steamer to kind of like cleanse my face. I had spoken with my dermatologist and he was like, yeah, like a lot of people are getting um, face acne from wearing masks. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know, everybody is dealing with it and nobody can see it right now because we're all wearing masks. But then my back, it all started like, and it was rough. I mean, I still have some right now, but I do have a nice routine and I got a new scrub. So it's not as bad as it used to be, but man, oh, it's rough. I have rough skin. That acne on the back is not right. And that is all from hormones because it all went, it was overnight. I didn't realize I had it until one time I was like, washing my bag and I'm like, what is this? And I was getting like really bad pimples. I'm sorry, this is TMI, but I, I wasn't expecting it. This was, this was not advertised. 
Number nine was a huge surprise for me. Now, I understand that every pregnancy is different, every woman is different, but something that I've always attributed with being pregnant is morning sickness. And I remember the first time that I saw the line, or maybe it wasn't the line, it was the, the, the actual pregnant sign on my pregnancy test because I had taken a lot of tests prior to getting the one that says pregnant um, but the first time that I saw it I had a couple thoughts and one of my thoughts was okay Randy you have to prepare yourself for morning sickness thank you Lord Almighty because your girl has never gotten morning sickness I never, never, never. I've probably got nauseous twice in the whole pregnancy so far. Um, I never threw up. I've been eating every and anything. I haven't had any food aversions. Um, I've been craving like certain foods more than others, but I've been good. And I was not expecting that. I really was not expecting that. I've always, always, always just attributed morning sickness with pregnancy. Like, I remember one time I was taking the bus and this girl was getting off the bus. I was at the bus stop. It wasn't my bus that was coming that she was getting getting off from, so I didn't get in. But she, come, she comes out and just like rushes behind a tree and starts throwing up. And everyone is like, uh, okay. So I'm like waiting for her to be done. And I went to her and I'm like, hey, are you okay? And she was like, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just pregnant. I swear to you, that was like a good, good, like stay away from pregnancy. Like this was, this was, this was a PSA right there. I was like, I'm not doing this. We're just, we're just throwing up behind like trees. What is, oh no. So that's what I was expecting. I was expecting to be, you know, throwing up behind trees. I've watched videos of girls driving and having to pull over because they needed to throw up. And I was like, is this real life? Is this what we're doing? But thank God <laughs> I didn't have to. And I thank him every day because I have a friend who's the complete opposite. Um, I mean, we're halfway through our pregnancies and She's still, she's still getting sicknesses. She's still having food aversions. And I'm just like, I don't know what I would do. I, I, cause I honestly don't know what I would do if I was her. Whew. Number 10 is a real one. Number 10 is, um, the fact that hormones, hormones are real from from the list, I can tell you half of those are all caused from by the hormones. And it's just so crazy to me that I did I I just never could fathom, like I never realized how much hormones have to do with pregnancy. I mean, obviously it does, but like so many things are just explained by its hormones. I remember my first like during my first trimester i can honestly tell you there was so much rage inside of me <laughs> i know i'm laughing now but like it was really bad and it actually scared me and i would i would catch the fact that it is that it was from the hormones and i would express it to alex my husband i would tell him i'm really angry right now I know it's the hormones, but I would really appreciate if you could take certain things a little bit more serious. Like, he would literally just like leave his his shoes somewhere that weren't the shoe rack and I would like bawl. I would be so upset. Like the pillows on the couch would not be put properly and I would lose my crap. Like I was, I was bad, like, it was crazy. I was crazy. And the hormones were not playing. But so far, you know, with all of those things, 
I, I'm so thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful that I'm experiencing them. I'm thankful that I get to share them with you guys. I honestly didn't know that these things were possible. <laughs> I, I love the fact that I'm on the other side of most of these things. I mean, obviously I'm still waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Um, I'm glad that my hormones, when it comes to the mood swings at least, are a little bit more tamed. Um, I'm glad that, you know, the morning sickness didn't affect me, um, didn't touch me. <laughs> I'm just really, really excited about this pregnancy and I want to know let me know in the comments which one of these items did you relate with the most throughout your pregnancy and which ones were completely opposite because I know that's a thing and I love it because we have all such different bodies and different pregnancy experiences and I just, I love, love seeing how different we all are and what miracles we can bring to this world even after going through all of these things. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. These were 10 truths that I found out about pregnancy during the first trimester. I am so happy that you guys stuck with me. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and help me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm so very excited to share with you guys this journey and I'm just so happy that you guys decided to stick around and watch my video. Please make sure to like it, okay? Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.